contractors like ourselves come in in, in in a significant way. So, you know, we've heard the numbers and statistics that get thrown around in terms of the multi-billion dollar contracts. I guess when you couple that with the existing uh, assets that are already in this country, it's quite substantial. And, and we'll maintain our focus in brownfield and, and asset support contracting. I think what it gives us now, though, is, is the ability to, to leverage off a volume of business here across five, five key regional centres where we can really support our customers. It's an exciting space in the Australian market for sure, with um, particularly some of the assets uh, on the eastern seaboard uh, ageing and the demand for brownfield services is likely to increase uh, over the foreseeable future. So that's a very exciting place to be. Um, I think uh, in terms of some of the constraints in that industry, um, clearly making sure that we can be competitive in the way that we enhance the asset life uh, and longevity. So price competitiveness is a key restraint of the industry. And on top of that, we need to be able to compete with some of the larger greenfields developments for skilled labour. And that skilled labour encompasses multidiscipline engineering as well as construction and project management. So they'll be uh, key challenges uh, going forward if we're to respond to the brownfields market growth. That's an exciting place as well with uh, coal seam um, methane to LNG and really for PSN that'll create a lot of um, exciting opportunities particularly in Queensland. We anticipate around 15% uh, of our business being in that unconventional gas sector over the next two years um, but we do anticipate some consolidation in the industry um, before it materialises into live projects.